All right, first and 10 football back in action. As we reach week seven, many of our teams are looking to stay sharp with playoffs just looming in just a few weeks. Yeah, they're coming up in two schools with big goals facing off in our game of the week this week. 10 sports reporter Eric Johnson is live in Gretna where the Hawks are hosting Magna Vista. Eric. John and Rachel, first time in a long time that we've had our Game of the Week featured here at Gretna High School. They're getting ready for homecoming fans starting to file into the stadium. A lot of tradition going along with this football program. As you can see, the state championship banners just behind me. Brand new press box to this season. They're excited about that, but they're also excited for what's on the field. A brand new approach has the Hawks soaring very high thanks to the acronym BTA. Bring technique and assignment. It's been back to the basics for the Hawks, learning that the simple things matter the most. Sprinkle in attention to detail, and it's led to a 4-1 record. Well, basically, the kids just picking up everything. Um, as coaches, we try to keep it simple, stupid. You know, mm -hmm. I, I, it's kind of cliche, but if you can keep your guys, uh, you know, uh, moving fast with what they do and they feel confident, you know, it usually works out for you. So um, it's not a lot of stuff that's uh, real technical. But the kids have to, uh, took the grass up and doing really well for us. Gretna in year three under coach Sean Miller, but it's their first playing a new style of offense, one that has provided a needed spark. He's a, he's a great coach. You know, when he's out here, he makes you want to want to push yourself to be better and do what you can better. Last year we was mainly a run only team. This year we can pass, we can run, like we can do it every. So like teams don't know what's coming. Points have come in abundance, not only for the Hawks, but the visiting Warriors of Magna Vista having scored at least 40 points in each game this season, entering with a 5-0 record. Yeah, it starts up front. Uh, you know, we got three starting offensive linemen back, and they're, and they're playing well. And the two guys who've, who've uh, come in for us are, are, are doing a good job. Uh, our quarterback is, uh, you know, a year into the system, so that's really helped. We learned how to throw the ball more this year, and it's really, it really changed our game for real. Yeah. Us throwing the ball, because last year it was really just running and throwing it now. They just don't know how to stop us for real. So two offenses that have found a way, but only one will prevail tonight. Later on 10 Sports at 6, I'll have more on why this is a much-needed late-season test for both of these teams. Live in Gretna, Eric Johnson, 10 Sports.